Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris, and welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play. Um, I've, I'm have i currently in a place where if you look, you can't really tell that anything is different, unless maybe you look really closely at the minimap. But uh, in case you didn't catch the announcement, um, I basically had an issue where I had to go back to before I did episode 6. So um, basically... All the things that we researched and discovered in episode six, um, we don't actually have, but that's not, that, I mean, that's not that bad, but uh, I'm just letting you guys know. So why don't I um, tour you around and show you everything that I did while I wasn't recording because I did a lot. Um, so the first thing is the new entrance to my base. Ta-da! It looks pretty impressive if you ask me. I like it. Um... Spent a lot of time on it. Um, I think it looks really nice. You can see I still have a few in my inventory here. Bamboo fences. This is uh, something we're going to be working on today. And behind here, you'll see the reed farm. But if you look, if we get up high, you can see it's not like it was before. There's a lot more reeds. Um, I basically just put grass in the center and twirled it around and so yeah, there's a lot more reads now, but it's not automatic, and that's what we're doing over there, uh, hopefully. And then inside, I did a couple things. On the left-hand side here, you're going to see some things. They kind of look like uh, red power um, crafting tables, and that's because that's what they are. These are called project tables. So if we check this guy out, you see if the recipe that's stuck in its memory is three sugar cane in this pattern equals three paper. So like, if we go get, let's just go get some reeds. Sugar cane, same thing. And... And that's all we're going to get from now. I'll get the rest uh, maybe a little later, offline, off camera. And now, if we go inside there... Some of you, if you've never heard, uh, seen or heard of this before, you might already have a guess at what it does. But if we just put our reeds, our uh, resources down here, it, and then we can grab them out using these resources without using the ones in the... Oh, whoops. Well, that was my bad. I clicked it one too many times. But, mm, yeah, there you go. Not too, not too complicated. And then this one, obviously, is just the same thing. We can just grab out books. And then, can you guess what the next one is? Bookshelves. Yep, we just drop the books in there and grab out bookshelves. Pretty simple. And in here, um, if we walk in like this, nothing's really changed. Although, oh no, why is that happening? Wow. Anyways, but behind us, we have a new place for our aquasium. Now, as you can see, these little symbols are flying from the bookshelves and landing in the aquasium. And what they're doing is actually boosting it. Each bookshelf boosts it by one. So if you think about it, that's pretty good. Um, and later we'll have something else to put in place of the bookshelves that will do something different. So as you can see, we've got some cobblestone in here. Now, cobblestone researches for one and boosts for one. So normally, this would be three, like three chances of success. But it's three. Never mind. Just kidding. Um, I don't think it affects uh, cobblestone or, you know, random stuff like that. I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I did a lot more mining and uh, let's see what we've got in here. We've got some water buckets, some diamonds. Um, I'm not really sure what all we have that we didn't have before, but not much. Um, the chests weren't messing up, but now they are. I don't know. I still haven't changed my Optifine version because nothing was wrong, so I might have to. But anyways, check out what we got in here. Now, as you can see, we've got all these guys. Um, like I said, we haven't... I just uh, researched these over and over uh, off camera. And what we've got is a Thomic Restorer, Axe of the Stream. This is the item that we've been looking for, and we're definitely going to research this guy very soon. Uh, Shovel of Renewal, Self-Repair Enchantment, Pickaxe of the Core, Seven League Boots, Traveling Trunk, Arcane Focused Earth, Seven League Boots, another one. This one's hard, but this one is tricky. And self-repair enchantment. So uh, that's all well and good. But now we're going to take this guy out, take all of these out. And then we're going to take our two bookshelves and we're going to research the 
acts of the stream but um, we're gonna need some more books so I'm gonna need to go get all the reads out there so I'll do that and I'll be back okay I'm back inside and just from what we just got I got four stacks five stacks almost six so that's pretty awesome and I'm pretty sure we're gonna need more wood but I have a bunch in here so we're just gonna take that I also had some on me and uh, all we have to do to fix this is just like that and then we'll just uh, put in the sugar cane and it might seem like I have a lot but believe it or not I really don't um, now we can just shift click until we can't anymore like that and then for this one we just do the same thing shift click all of them in and then make as many books as we can see not a lot not really and then uh, put all the books in and the wood and we're definitely gonna need more yep so we'll just go ahead and turn all of this into wood and put it all in there and there we go 41 bookshelves see that is not a lot not at all um, it may seem like it but think about how fast they go um, it's really not a lot but anyways now we can do this and research the acts of the stream we've got a 74 percent chance very good very very good and uh, we should be getting it pretty soon and then we can go check it out um, also, we haven't made the Thamanomicon yet, which is kind of funny because that's what I named episode 6. Uh, I think it was like research and the Thamanomicon, but anyways, we're going to make it again uh, as soon as we get four um, discovered theories. So as soon as we get this, um, we will probably make an axe, and then, uh, then we'll probably finish researching everything that we have, and then work on the automatic read farm and we got it cool all right here we go our first technically discovery ready check it out the this enchanted thomium axe makes short work of anything crafted from wood holding shift suppresses this power while right click is held loose items will flow in towards you okay so this is awesome and to make a thomium axe we need let's see uh, open up any eye thom Oh, whoops. And a thomium ingot. Not what I meant to do. Come on. Thomium ingot is. Oh, okay. So it must be a um, infuser recipe. I'm guessing it's probably ingot, an iron ingot, which I think we have some of. Oh, wrong chest. Yeah, we've got some. Um, we'll just take eight. That's a good number. And it's probably a crystal. Do I have any crystals? Okay, I have six of these crystals. I really need to go mining for some more. Um, but let's try this out. We'll just get our crystals and our ingots. Yay, cool. We'll only make four. Sounds good to me. And then what was the recipe? Okay, we need one enchanted wood and three aqueous crystals, which we don't have. So I'll have to go mining. That's not really a big deal. Uh, I'll do that eventually. And for now, let's get the pickaxe of the core, the shovel of renewal, and the seven league boots hard. And we'll go ahead and do these. These are just the ones I want to do first. And I think first we're going to do the seven league boots. So I'll come back uh, when we either do or don't get this. Okay, we're on the last one. We've got a 60% chance. Let's see if we get it. Yeah, we did. Cool. These guys. Huh. To make these boots allows their wearer to make impressive leaps and bounds. Holding shift while jumping reduces the jump height. So first we need the boots of striding, which is something you have to discover, and we don't have those yet. I'm pretty sure you have to discover those. Let's check. Um, boots of striding. Yep, we do not have anything for that yet. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's do the shovel of renewal. 
And we're on the last one. And we're about to run our bookshelves. Come on. Yay, we got it. Okay, cool. The enchanted shovel is capable of removing large sections of earth and sand. Holding shift suppresses this power. It is also extremely effective after at removing tainted ground. If right clicked, it will revert, it will encourage plants to grow. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Um, we'll have to make that as soon as we get some earth and crystals. And last one, um, we're once again out of bookshelves, so let's just hmm. Let's try and use Nicolite to boost it. I don't know how effective that is, but we will try it. Here, let's see. Um, if we just take the pickaxe to the core, it's only a 25% chance, but if we drop two Nicolite in there, it's 28. Wow, that's not very good. Mm, maybe we'll get it. Okay, this is taking forever. It's already used eight out of each Nicolite, so if we don't... Um, if we don't, yeah, we're just going to take this and not research that for now. But while we're gone and working on our auto reed farm, we are going to put this stuff in here. And let that go while we're gone. And for now, we'll just set this stuff in here. And this, and this, and here we go. All right. So, um, for our contraption outside to work, what we're going to need is some things called pneumatic tubes. And that's spelled with a P. There you go. P-N-E-U-M-A-T-I-C. And the way we make those with, is with brass. And the thing is, we don't have brass. Now, to get brass, we're going to need something called an alloy furnace. And for an alloy furnace, we need a shovel, and then we have to go find some clay. And thankfully, as of a long time ago, clay is fairly easy to find now. All we really have to do is just go look in the water, and we should find it pretty easy. And then we'll just close out of any eye. Uh, it's kind of distracting. And then we'll go up. Oh, it's almost sunset. Hopefully we can find it fairly soon. And that there is what we're working on. Uh, I think I already said that, but hey, whatever. There's some clay right there. And there we go. That is all we need. Should be. Yeah, plenty. Come on. There we go. And I'll meet you back inside the base. Alright, we're back. And we're gonna sleep. Because we're gonna need to work outside. And then we're going to cook up some of this clay. We're just going to cook all of it up. It doesn't really matter. And 24 divided by 6 is some number that I'm not going to work up because it's summer and I'm not going to do math. Um, oh, it's actually 4. Huh. That's that's funny. I Yeah, I didn't actually make myself think about it until just now. And there we go. And I will be back when that is done. There we go. All we need is 32, and what we're going to do is just make this into brick. We only need 8 for the alloy furnace. And then, as you do a regular furnace, we're just going to put these in a square. And there we go. Alloy furnace. And we're just going to put this guy right here, because we don't really have a better place. And uh, the, basically, the way this thing works is, as soon as you have enough of each item in the center there it'll make it so the brass is 110 and three copper so you see if we put two in there it's not gonna do anything but as soon as we put three it's gonna craft it and we'll just drop all of this and all of this in there because we don't need that right now we haven't even started with the mods that those coincide with and there we go brassing it now let's look or never mind we already know how to make the um the pneumatic tubes but let's see if we have any glass because we're gonna need some no but we have plenty of sand we'll have to wait for that to cook up oh yawn um do we oh 
Okay, I already know what's in that chest, so no, we do not have any glass. So, we'll let that cook up. Uh, for now, we'll just do eight in each, might as well. I hear a wisp. And there we go, and this is cooking up mighty nicely. And as you can see, it is using the coal that we put over there. And... Cool. And... Ta-da! Now, the way we make these, in case you don't remember, is we put brass on the side of these, and we get pneumatic tubes. But, pneumatic tubes actually isn't what we want to use. What we want to use is redstone pneumatic tubes. And just like a redstone torch, if we want to make um, redstone pneumatic tubes, we just put it on top or anywhere else in the crafting table. And there we go. Redstone pneumatic tubes. Now let's go set these up. Um, so before we start building this, I'm going to explain what this device here is going to use is going to do. Um, basically, these things are called block breakers, and what they're going to do is um, every couple seconds they're going to pulse, and when they pulse. Uh, in case you didn't guess, they're going to break the block in front of them. So every time a piece of reed grows, um, it'll get sent into the block breaker. Now if we just, uh, let's let's get a lever. Of course we don't have a cobble. We don't have any cobble. Um, just for quick use, we're going to grab this guy. And if we put a stick on top of it and we get a lever, we'll see what happens when the block breaker runs. There you go. It grabbed it and it put it right. It pulsed it right out of this uh, circle here. But that's not what we want. That, blah, that is not what we want to happen. What we want to happen is for it to send it through these pneumatic tubes. So we're gonna line up the pneumatic tubes like this. One extra. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And then we'll actually do one more on this side. And then we want to. Oh. We're going to have like just enough. And we want it to go right here into a chest, which I did not make or bring with me. Um, in fact, why don't we. I don't actually know if I have any bamboo left. If we do, we'll make a bamboo chest. Um, because I'm pretty sure they work with pneumatic tubes. Let's see, do we? No, I used it all. Okay, that's understandable. Um, the rest of my wood is probably upstairs. So we'll go get that and then make a chest. It would be in this one. Right. Uh, hmm, okay. I don't have any wood. So... We'll just go chop down a tree real fast. If we can find one. I meant to plant some trees out here, but I forgot. And all of my saplings are inside, so I'll not worry about it right now. Um, I will get some wood and all that and be right back. Alright, there we go. I got five. That's just enough for now. Um, and then we're also going to grab some... The rest of the brass out of here. We actually ran out of copper which is understandable and we don't really need any more tubes right now but what we are gonna do is grab these the saplings I put them in the valuable chest because I wanted to use them um, and then we're gonna turn our wood into wood and don't worry guys we won't be having any sort of a problem with wood anytime or we won't be having it you know uh, shortly we won't be having any more problems with wood um, trust me because of the uh, acts of the stream and of course this guy is messed up, um, don't know why I haven't, there we go, that works, and as you can see the tube is running down into it and working, so what we're going to do is sleep, of course, can't believe the whole day already went by, it's kind of crazy, um, in case you, you guys didn't know, a Minecraft day lasts 10 minutes and a Minecraft night only lasts 7, uh, unless they changed that, I'm pretty sure they didn't, maybe it's 8, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they didn't change that, actually. 
But anyways, now what we're going to need is something to make those guys go. So we need a timer. Now to make a timer, we're going to need stone wafers. Did my thing just switch itself into cheat mode? Huh. You know, maybe it has like a key or something that I accidentally hit. Um, we're going to need a bunch of these things, uh, and to get these things, we have to do different things. For example, to get stone wafers, we have to cook up some stone in a furnace. So, let's do that. I don't know where my stone is. I think it's in here, actually. Uh, I can't sprint because I'm out of food. Yep. Uh, I don't know how many stone I'm going to need, but I'm not really sure. We're kind of lacking on resources, in case you didn't notice. Um, I'm sure most of you did. But uh, the reason we are is because I haven't been mining in a while. Um, and when I do, it's usually down in the branch mine, so I hardly ever find crystals. <sighs> what I need to do, uh, there's a ravine out in the ocean next to the swamp, and I need to go down there. Okay, so cool, we're getting a nice amount here. So uh, I'll just come back when all that's cooked up. Actually, while that's going, there is one thing I can do. I can put this brass in here, and the nickelite, and the brick, and we're going to need the redstone so we won't do that um, we're also going to need some more stone probably so yeah let's let's check out the the whole recipes first to get a stone wire we just need a redstone and a stone wafer to get a okay we need three of those and then a stone anode is that okay that's not that bad we might have enough I'm not really sure and then a stone cathode Okay, so we're going to need some sticks. We have one stick, but we have some wood. And then for a stone pointer, we're going to need that. Hmm. Okay, we might have enough. We might not. I'm not really sure. Uh, right, okay, the first thing was um, this. We only need one of these. Oh, it makes three. That's cool. All right, and then we need... Uh, I'm assuming this makes three, too? No, it does not. Three of those and three of these. Three stone wire. And then we're going to need, like I said, more stone. So, not actually sure if I have any cobble left. I might have taken it all. That would be not good. Okay, we have some. That's good. Also, going to need more coal. Well, not really. I have 64, but having a lot of coal is always nice. I don't know. Um. I really like my base. I know that's kind of a random thing to say, but I do. I just, I worked really hard on it, and I really like it. And I'm so glad I did not lose it. That would have been horrible. We're just going to cook up 64. Um, I'm going to go cave mining soon, or start a, uh, a ground level mine or something, so we'll get some more stone soon. Uh, for now, we'll just take this one. And we are going to need more sticks. So we'll just take this, turn it into that, and since we're going to be needing them eventually, we'll turn half of our that into that. And let's see, what else do we need? We needed a... did I already make a cathode? No, I did not. So this and this. Watch this make three. Nope. Okay, good. Alright, and then the timer, I think it's just... yeah, same thing except with one stone on top. So this and this in case you can't tell I've never made these before and then using this question mark here we can see exactly where to put them using any eye that's why I love it so this and this and this and then these guys gets us a timer cool um, and also something really cool if we take um, a piece of redstone and a piece of iron plus more redstone yes okay check this out we get something pretty cool we're actually going to need more of this and more iron soon too eventually we get a red alloy ingot and we want some more of that so I'll just put in that so it'll go and then we're gonna need one two three four that much more so I will come back actually it won't take very long um, 
this one more red aloe ingot and then we're good come on come on come on come on there we go oh didn't mean to drop it and then we just take three of these almost like sugar cane put them on top of each other and we get some red alloy uh, wire and uh, I'm not actually sure if we're gonna need this I didn't really think this through um, now the cool thing about these guys is they'll transmit a redstone signal um, but we have to get them to do that and to do that I think first of all we may actually need more of these yeah I'm thinking we will all right let me get everything I need and then I'll be right back all right so for now I've got everything that I need um, what we're gonna do is make a handsaw to make a handsaw we need two diamond this is the best kind of handsaw you can make um, I actually think we need three iron be wrong about that not sure um, three sticks oh. is that not right there we go oh shut up cat and diamond handsaw cool now we can take our handsaw and what the handsaw is gonna let us do is cut up any kind of block into smaller versions of that block so we're gonna make some slabs and then cut up the slabs make them into panels and then take the panels and turn them into covers and then now what we can do is take one red aloe ingot which I made and surround it with these guys and we get some jacketed wire now uh, oh wait there's one more thing we needed we needed some more pneumatic tubes um, take the brass ingots and put the glass around them and there that should be plenty for now also outside I planted a few uh, pneumatic tubes oh god I'm gonna sleep I mean not I didn't plant pneumatic tubes I planted some saplings I planted four um, but like I said we won't be having an issue with the wood anytime soon and now hopefully this whole thing works we actually need redstone tubes don't we yes do we have enough we do I think we want to put this here and then connect it to the timer and no I'm gonna put this here and there there we go and then the timer yeah check it out it's working cool and the ones that had three on top of them did that now what we can do is set this timer to run once every sixty seconds okay so basically we have a fully automatic farm now so what it's gonna do is every 60 seconds this timer is gonna pulse and when it does it's gonna pulse the block breakers and then as long as all of these are two block high which they always should be I don't think they'll grow that fast um, it will I'm just gonna have to cheat real fast to get out of here And actually, guys, I know this episode was a little short, but that's going to be it for episode 7. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you have any comments, of course, leave them in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of the new entrance, and of how I flattened out the land here. Uh, that took quite a while. 